After a disappointing 2022 campaign, the Yankees need to retool. With the American League continuously getting better and the gap between the Yankees and the Houston Astros seemingly growing larger every year, New York may have to employ a strategy they haven't done in quite some time. Spend and free agency. Yeah, the Yankees payroll has stayed around the 200 million mark for years, but this offseason feels like the franchise at a crossroads. While they wait for their up and coming prospects to make it to the big leagues and contribute on a regular basis, they have to shore up the holes in their lineup and in their pitching staff. Aaron Judge is the most important player to the franchise since Derek Jeter, and the Yankees need to bring him back. Sure, he's entering his age 31 season and will probably never have the season he just had, but man, Horik, number 62, all while wearing pinstripes. It should also be noted how much he carried his team when injuries began to pile up. Judge is the American League MVP and will be the team's MVP for years to come if they can re-sign him. He should be the team's top priority and whether he signs or not will shape what the Yankees do the rest of the offseason. The catcher spot became a black hole in the Yankees lineup in the second half of the season and in the postseason. After Kyle Yoshoka failed to take the starting catcher's position in the first month of the season, Jose Trevino was acquired and became an all-star in 2022. Unfortunately, Trevino's numbers came back down to earth. He hit just 244 with 4 home runs and 16 RBIs in the second half, and it seemed that he was an automatic out every time he came up to the plate. Yankees need to pick up Wilson Contreras. He is the best free agent catcher on the market and would easily boost productivity from that spot. In 2022, Contreras hit more home runs, 22-11 and more RBIs 55-43 than what the Yankees had last season. Contreras is entering his age 31 season and is only a year older than when Phillies signed JT Realmuto to a 5 year $115 million deal. Contreras doesn't have the bat Realmuto does, but he's not far off and could definitely be the answer the Yankees have been looking for in their backstop for years. With question marks surrounding Clay Holmes after a subpar second half, Kenley Jansen could be a perfect one year contract pitcher. He can not only alleviate the pressure of saving gains from Holmes, but would give manager Aaron Boone another deadly arm in the bullpen. His demeanor is perfectly suited for the pressure cooker of New York and has plenty of postseason experience. Jansen had some health issues in recent years, but if he's healthy, he can be the stud closer the Yankees needed in the postseason. Andrew Benintendi was the second biggest name New York acquired the 2022 trade deadline, and Benintendi's tenure with the Yankees can be summed up by what could have been. After a very slow start in pinstripes, Benintendi was beginning to get out of his funk. While he didn't play up to the, 20, the 320 average he had while with the Royals, a full season in familiar setting would benefit both parties. The Yankees need a left fielder and a leadoff hitter. Benintendi can do both. We saw what happened with New York in the postseason without a player who can lead off every game, and it was a mess. Bring Benintendi back to give the Yankees a contact focused speedster who is a plus defender. The Yankees need a true number two starter. Justin Verlander has always been on the Yankees radar. Last offseason the Yanks offered him $25 million and feels like the missing piece the Yankees have been looking for in the rotation. While he's older than DeGrom and Rodon, Verlander is entering his age 40 season. He is still one of the best in the game. With the Yankees offering Verlander a contract for last year, the interest is still there. It will be up to both sides if they can come to an agreement on an amount. Verlander could command a contract similar to what 30 year old Scherzer got per year annual. Yeah, this one may be a long shot, but why not? They should make an offer to Jacob DeGrom. Along with his prodigious numbers, DeGrom brings postseason experience and knows how to handle the New York media. A common theme on this list. Just imagine a Cole and DeGrom pairing, similar to what the Mets enjoyed this season with him and Scherzer. Carlos Rodon could easily slide into the number two starter role behind Garrett Cole, something the Yankees desperately need after Frankie Montes' poor performance is being traded to the Bronx. While grabbing the number two starter is important, the market for them is a bit shallow and will be expensive. But if Brian Crashman and Hal Steinbrenner want to pay as much, and they can settle for Rodon. Given that we're talking about the Yankees here, we need to mention the shortstop vacancy. IKF was decent in his first season with the Yanks, 
but they need a player like Trey Turner or Carlos Correa as a shortstop for the New York Yankees. We know the Yankees of old would have locked up Judge by now and signed a player like a Correa or Turner to man shortstop for years to come.